this is my favorite work. I, I feel like, like humanity is starving. Humanity is starving. <laughs> yeah. And the way that we can impact in a higher way is to bring through messages that I believe are like ancient truths. And that's what's showing up with you right now. Like, oh, like you're bringing through like ancient truths, truths yeah. that um, well, I'm going to get emotional already. But, you know, women, women were writers thousands of years ago, hundreds of years ago, and their books were burned at their feet. Yeah. And we get to be vessels to bring forth those truths again. The books can never be burned because they're on Amazon, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, books can never, this is true. They're on Amazon nowadays. But just like you talked about those women of old as writers, I, I simply think, um, yeah, and they were storytellers. And the thing about stories, if you are telling the story, and someone is receiving it and, and getting that medicine in, that gets passed on from generation to generation, whether they have an actual book to hold or the story in, in, in their heart because they were, in, they were moved by it. So I, and, and you made a comment that I really wanna swing back to when you said humanity is starving. I think the starvation is is to the marrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so more than need to be feed, it needs the medicine. And I think the medicine of women, oh. the medicine of those who know how to, um, how, how to uh, create, carry, give birth and nurture in a natural way. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so yeah. cool. Yeah, oh, this, is, this is no Western medicine here. This is, this is definitely, it, it's like bone broth. <laughs> yeah, I feel they're like... needing, they're needing, it, we are needing. Yeah, so I was really grateful for this and my own blocks have kept me from finding the starting place. So as I watched you last week and then went back and watched some of the others, and and you know to to be to know you, also like in the flesh, had, <laughs> having had the great privilege of meeting you uh, in Sedona around so much rich earth, and to see your medicine there, and to get to share our medicines in the same room, I it was it was an easy yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna go woo woo with her. <laughs> yeah, all day long, all day yes. long. Yeah. All right. Well, let's do this. So. Okay. So let me just, I think what I want to share is, you know, okay, I'm going to share this piece. I haven't shared this yet, but we're going to share this. So for a long time, I actually experienced like spirits coming and, and giving me messages to give to people who are alive. And I was like, this is not what I like to do. Okay. <laughs> just like, I don't want this gift. Like this isn't, <laughs> this is like intense. I don't really like this gift. And so I, I was like, God, I need you to take this gift from me. And, and the gift was taken. And it felt like, whew, all right, phew, I don't have to like see dead people all day. And then, and then I started to work with leaders and they would talk and all of a sudden I'd feel like I'd once felt spirits show up, but they're books and books have the same energy. So mm. all of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, books have spirits. Books are already written. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, then I'll, I'll be a book medium. <laughs> All day long. I will talk to books all day. That is what, <laughs> there we go. There we go. I just found my gift. So that's really what these books, like it's not about starting. It's complete. Your books are already mm. written. We just get to invite them in to sit and then show you the template. And then it comes through you so easy. Okay. You just said a word that just, I, I think um, uh, one of my, a dear friend, uh, Nina Moore, who does my uh, human design, she and she's always let me know. She said, "You need the invitation. 
-hmm. for me to do the thing, the invitation is needed. And you just said that. And I'm like, okay, I'm now buzzing again. <laughs> <Warrior. laughs> and I'm Kundalini buzzing up in this piece. <laughs> yes. well, let's bring your book in. We're going to bring, we'll see whatever ones show up. They might all show up. We're going to just start with some sound. So I want to take a deep breath in. All the way into your sacral chakra, waking up all the creation inside of you. And then I want you to breathe the creation up into your heart. And then this time I want you to breathe all the way down into your sacral chakra. You're going to breathe the creation up to your heart. And then it's going to blast out your heart as you breathe out. So you're going to breathe in. You're going to bring all this creative energy up into your heart. And as you breathe out, I want you to see it leave your heart with light. This is the energy that we're bringing the book through from creation out through the heart space. One more. And out through the heart. There we go. And we're going to just do the sacred creative process, which is, let me just keep this sound going for a second. We're going to invite this divine light to pour through you from the top of your head all the way down to your toes. We're going to clean, cleanse, and clear your vessel. And then we're going to allow the light to exit your toes, move up and around your body, sealing it up at your toes to be an added form of protection to infuse and insulate you with light. We're going to call in all of our angels, our guides, and all of the ascended masters who've been assigned specifically to you and this work, these books that they'll be called in and in through the divine light to hold this space today, to hold your books, to, to activate our gifts so we can hear, see, and feel them. We're gonna ask that light will touch our ears, that we will spiritually hear what needs to be heard, that light will touch our third eyes, we'll have access to all of our spiritual gifts, the light will cleanse our lips, that we speak only what needs to be spoken, and that light will pour over our hearts that we may be open to receive the books, the messages. So take a nice deep breath in with me. <sighs> now we're in our bodies. So we're going to invite your book or books, whatever wants to show up, and into the divine light to come in and sit with us. <laughs> okay. I really love the energy of your book. So it's really interesting. It like came in like on a stallion, like yes. side saddle. <laughs> <laughs> legs crossed <laughs> queen <laughs> yeah yeah knock my earbud out one moment <laughs> okay grab that <laughs> it was so awesome <laughs> not <Knocked> my... <laughs> <laughs> just pop right out of your ear <laughs> yes <it did. sighs> okay so let's feel into this the magic of this book so I'm going to invite your gifts of seeing, hearing, and feeling, and any other intuitive gifts that you have to be brought all the way to the surface and into the divine light so that you can see, hear, and receive the messages of your book. So uh, what do you see? Are you seeing or feeling anything? I'm feeling a lot of buzzing energy in the lower uh, extremities in my, in my feet and lower legs. Yeah. And there is a... Um, mm, it feels uh, it, it feels grand, it feels solid in its standing, it feels deeply rooted. Yeah. So I feel that and what I'm seeing There's a there's a is, statue for some reason. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be more No, no keep going, keep going, keep going. Like there's a solidness in this stand and, and there's this um, like like winning a an, a tony like the the body mm -hmm. it's a it's a human being but and it but it's regal and it's um almost like a statue but it, it is statuesque mm. it is okay. regal that feels good because what's interesting is so so as soon as uh, i saw her coming in on this black stallion then she gets down and behind her I see literally like the pyramids so it's like ancient Egypt mm -hmm. and then there's just this this small river but it's like it's um <sighs> it's not water it's like a a more textury liquid uh 
and she gets down and she puts her her two fingers into it. So there's something about cleaning the water. What does that mm. mean to you? What does that mean? Cleaning the water. You know, um, what comes to mind it immediately is this this work I the emotional work I do in the world. And the other day in a class I was teaching and I talked about um, emotions as water. We get to choose mm. what we do with them, how we, uh, someone was talking about a tsunami of emotions and I was telling them, but a tsunami is made up and a tsunami is made up of little drops mm. and how we move ahead by working one drop at a time not meeting our challenges that come on like a tsunami. We can't meet it with an emotional tsunami because that isn't caring to the nervous system. So I, I talked about damming up emotions and, and frozen emotions and more emotions that you want to get to flow. So it's really about all of this water. Yeah. Cleaning, cleaning it up, I'm not sure what the cleanup is. Maybe it's organizing the thoughts. I don't know. So this is beautiful. So what I see, okay, so at first I'm shown, like, this is what we don't do, which is trying to clean the water mid-river. What I'm hearing is you got to go back to the source and you got to mm. clean it up from the source. So now we're just going to ask, like, okay, so is that what this book is doing? Is this book cleaning up from the source to pour new water through? Uh, I hear yes. What do you hear? I, I hear yes, and I also hear an echo of what you said earlier on when you were talking about um, um, the world. You you spoke to humanity is the words that were used was starving, and then you know there's a deep sickness that exists, and we we can't jump in midstream with that. You have to go back to come forward to clean. Oh, if you that's... don't go back, you, you 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 just carry, you dredge along the shit of the past. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this book. This book is so powerful. I mean, here's the here's the here's the challenge, though. Okay, the challenge is that you're extremely brilliant in your mind. The challenge is to be able to set the mind aside and just go full heart, full heart. Because your mind knows so much. You're super, super smart and brilliant. And we love it. And we love those pieces. But this book can, is kind of like how we brought the creation from the sacral into the heart. And mm -hmm. then it went out from the heart. That's how this book gets to come through. So I want you to keep your eyes closed. We're going to drop into the heart. And we're going to ask. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So the image of this woman, like she literally took both of her hands, like front heart, back heart, whoo, like that. Like if I were to come up next to you and just back heart, front heart you and just whoo, with my energy. So I want you to get real deep right there in your heart. And we're going to ask her the, what is the thing? Like what's going to clean up the river from the front, the very, very tip of the river. What's going to clear it up? And I want you to stay out of your head. I want you to go right into the heart. What is it? What is the gold? What's the gold that's going to come through in this book that's going to do that? Thank you for being here with us in this beautiful, sacred book channeling session. And if you felt the stir in your heart that it is time for you to write your book, then I am so excited to tell you that I am going to give you my sacred creative process that allows authors to channel their books. Just click the link below in the description and you will have immediate access to learning the tools on how you will channel your book. You know what's coming. What I feel, what is is simplicity. Mm. It, it's like it's it's. I can feel my beautiful mind wanting to 
make meaning out of something and it it really it's it's it almost it keeps getting more and more simple um yeah it it's it literally it's showing me crayons mm. Mm. no i'm gonna just bring to the surface there's like some grief that's kind of like right there in the heart <sighs> So let's just like bring this grief up. We're just gonna wrap it in light first and then we're just gonna put it on like uh, like an altar, right? Like a space, a, a place of sacred holiness. And we're just gonna ask like what grief, is this grief that's going to help transform the book? Or is this grief that's gonna block the book? Because grief can come actually come in and be a transformative agent and sometimes it can be the blocker. So what do you feel like it is? I feel like it's both. Yeah. I yeah. feel like it's absolutely both. Yeah. Okay. 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 So here's what I want you to do. Okay. I want you to open your eyes. I want you to feel this. Okay. So when you're writing, okay, when you're writing and bringing through this book, if grief shows up, I want you to move and breathe and dance through it like you do. Right? Like you bring it up, you move, you breathe, you dance, whatever you got to do. And then you're going to ask it to now come in and be a transformative agent. Right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to bring it up, move through it, and then let it be one of the tools. I can do that. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. That's your thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Your yeah. yeah. This is your magic. So, oh my gosh. <sighs> so this gets to be how you write the book. So you get to teach people whatever, whenever you're moving through the book and you're going to bring some things up, then there's going to be a practice, right? Like, okay, you're going to teach something, you're going to walk through something, and then here's the practice. And you're going to teach them how they move it through their body. And then the book becomes super interactive for people. Okay, now the buzzing <laughs> yeah. is like moving through my heart, like yeah. from the back, yeah. right through the front. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. now the book gets out of their mind and we're dropping them into their heart. With every piece of your practice, they drop into the heart. <sighs> that feels much better now in my body. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then I'm just going to say, this is just an idea. And then all the things okay. that come to me, you put it through your system and see if it feels like a holy hell yes. But it feels like this also gets to be where you take that practice, you do a video, and then you'll be able to put a link to the video underneath the practice. Like, hey, you can watch the practice here. And so now people are like, they're in the flesh with you. They're reading mm -hmm. it. They're being in it with you. And then they get to experience how to move through their body, which what I'm hearing is that's how we clean the water. Mm. It is how we clean the water because it's not leaving the body out, which is how, yeah, how that's. Interesting. So yeah. the body is actually the small canal that I was seeing. And the messy water is what's here. And so you're going to be literally helping people clean the water inside of their beings. Mm -hmm. <sighs> wow. Oh. So good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. So can you feel how the book is actually already written? Like, can you feel like, oh, there's no starting. It's already here. Yeah, I, I absolutely because there's almost. Um, I I think if I can share, like I, I've always thought it was external. I mean, I knew it came from the internal, and I was going to use that. But this is like deeply tapping in and and literally using it and cleaning it in the process. Not not getting clear so that I can write the book. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. right, right, yeah. right. Oh my gosh, that piece right there, that's that's wisdom, right? Like that we think we have to be clear to write, but right. the writing is what cleans and heals us. Right. It's the self. 
the writing is the self to our pain always it's magic so okay so there's there's so there's one more thing that's showing up so let's see Please. i'm hearing i'm hearing there's like something about okay hold on sometimes it's just like too noisy so let me just hear it's something like um your magic has to be coded into every every syllable every word every inch of the page is like bernadette's magic gets to come through so when you're writing it i want you to literally just be your magic so whatever you need to do to get into your space right like if it's dancing drumming singing chanting whatever it is it's going to get you whoosh, all the yeah. way up then you write from here and then what happens is that magic gets infused into the words so that anybody who even opens the pages they like it's like almost like they can yeah. smell you it's this beautiful whiff of your perfume right like yeah. the, the whiff of your magic comes out of the pages oh that i like <laughs> yeah that's good <laughs> that i like yes 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 <laughs> <laughs> that feels good. <laughs> okay, I like this. So I want you to drop in with me and I want you to ask your book, is there any more messages? Because, you know, you're going to be communicating with your book from here on out. So I want you to start this conversation with it. Ask the book, is there any, any other conversations for you to have with your book right here, right now? Is there a message that wants to come to you? You know, I am getting an image that I'm, I don't even understand, but That's I okay. know you. What is it? Yeah. It, it's like a wishbone mm -hmm. and it has these spirals that run all along it and mm -hmm. they're moving. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. It's snaking. Okay. Well, what I hear is remember when you talked about the marrow of the bone? Mm -hmm. And now there's like this energy moving around the marrow of the bone. If that is the intention you place into this book, that people down to the marrow of their bones, the energy whirs, it moves, it feeds, it nourishes the starvation. But also I keep hearing um, that they're so thirsty, right? So like that imagery, keep that in your heart. That that's what your that's like that was the first thing that came out for you. Let's bring that in. So I want you to feel it down to the marrow of your bones. Like and and the thing that I hear from the book is like, all right, Bernadette. We we like we just met like soulmate soulmates met right here on path this path right here you and your book your soulmates. You have contracted that you participate in this work together. The book's like, so how are we going to do this? Like, how are we going to how are we going to bring this through? And the book really wants to just know that it's going to spend time with you. So I want you to drop into your heart, not your mind, because we're not calendaring. We're dropping in the heart. When does your soul want to write every day? Your question is, when does it want to write every day? Yeah, because the book wants to know. Okay, that yeah, yeah. No, I because I heard a time that my brain is saying, oh, no, <laughs> 5 a.m. Yeah, 5 a.m. is the magic time. I don't do that hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. No, so, no, no. I, no, I, the book might do that hour. <laughs> so here's what I want to reframe it, okay? So I want you to imagine... If I told you that every morning there was like this golden nectar pool, <laughs> I don't know why that's showing up, but there's like this pool of golden nectar and the nectar is going to literally bring magic to every one of your cells, like activating higher, higher health, higher light, higher joy, higher love, higher abundance, just by you going into this pool every morning. And I was like, you got to do it at 5 a.m. You'd be like, mm. holy hell, yes. Yeah. Right? Well, like, the book is that. The book is the nectar. 
I'm, I, I am a yes. I'm a yes to that. That feels so good. Okay. All right. That feels good. The book says yes. I'll meet with you every morning. Um, I'll send you over the sacred creative process that we just did. So you can do that before you write. Um, the final piece, I want you to open up your heart and just ask the book when it wants to be complete. Don't think, don't think, just drop Okay, mind. okay, it just opened my mouth. This is October. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I'm hearing like it needs sacred numbers. So 10, if it's October, 10, 10, 22 would be like a sacred number, right? We've got two 10s together. 22 is really beautiful adding those together. So how does that feel in your body? Um, I don't know, I keep hearing four. So I don't okay. know what okay. four Follow means. Follow what you yeah. hear. Follow what you hear. So 10, four. four, two, okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to just place your hands on your heart. <sighs> I want you to place this due date of the birth on your heart. Like, okay, this book is going to be birthed on 10, four, 2022, meaning complete, completed and being written. Brought earth side. And then what I want you to do is we're going to just surrender over all the noise and all the fear and all the doubt that says this is impossible. Everything that wants to shut it down. Because I want you to go back to the image of the marrow. I want you to go back to the image of the bone and the energy moving. And I want you to go back to the, the truth that you feel in your body of how many people are starving. They're starving for more light for this type of work, your magic, that's going to help activate the cleansing of the energetic water inside of them. And when you land there in the space of service, anything and everything is possible. Do you feel that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my dear, we're going to wrap this book in, um, <laughs> It wants to be wrapped in this beautiful, golden, glittery shawl. So we're just going to wrap it. It's not a shawl. Okay, it's not a shawl. It is, it's, um, what is this then? It's, <sighs> okay, let me feel. What do you, do you know what it is? Um, I, it, it, it looks like a bubbled gift bag. Mm, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that feels good. Okay, we're going to wrap it in that. It's beautiful. It's this beautiful wrapping it up as the gift that it is. And then we're going to hand it over to the divine and all of your angels and ask that they will open up the pathways for you that waking up early at 5 a.m. to spend time with your book is delicious. And that every time you wake up, something from your heart pulls you to go to sacred space and to get into this high vibration of being with your book. And we're just going to thank your book for coming and thank you for being a vessel for this work. Uh, <laughs> what, what do you feel? What do you feel? I feel all tears coming up the corners of my eyes and it feels like, um, exhilarating exciting <laughs> my fist is clenched it's <laughs> all this like sh golden champagne bubbles and fairies and all kinds of goodness yeah magic the the nectar i really like this like it's like the nectar of like magic that you're going to be like diving into every morning when you write yeah, I can't believe I, I have a sense in my body of I can't wait to set the alarm. I don't even, <laughs> you know, it, yeah, it's, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, super exciting. All right, so my dear, let me, there's like, okay, one final piece is right before you fall asleep at nighttime. And that means literally like you're snuggled in, head on the pillow, 
about to fall asleep, you're going to put the prayer up to the divine, to your angels, and you're going to ask them that they bring the message through right in the morning that needs to come through that day. And then that's kind of your prep work. That's like, it's like uh, watering the soil before you pull some weeds, right? Like we're prepping the soil. And then the next morning you're like ready because you've already done the work to bring it, to bring it in. Okay. Yeah. Tending to that garden. I, I, I love that visual. Thank you. Well, I hope to publish this book, my friend. I hope you come on over to Freedom House because uh, it's an honor. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about Freedom House. Let's get ready for each other. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I miss you in my life. You are magic. Thank you. you for spending time with me. What a pleasure. Thank you. If you loved this video, then I invite you to come over with me right here and watch a few more of my book channeling sessions. Join me as I sit with authors and we channel through books that are here to transform humanity. I think you're going to love them.